Welcome back, Michelle. Well, it's nice to know that uh, our love of cats has spread to our guests, bringing us pictures of their cats. Yeah, I think this is actually a first for us on the show, so we're pretty happy. And, and we still have to pay for the cats, so we that will. works out well uh, for these guys. Uh, they are putting together a great event. They've done it for a few years in a row. It's called uh, Mike and Manny's Cowboy Camp, and it's for uh, alpine downhill skiers in Canada, young guys that maybe just need a little assistance. Manny Osborne, Paradis, Mike Janik joining us, of course, a couple of our Canadian Gentlemen, alpine how are downhill you? ski racers. Thank you. You're good. You're good. So, Manny, yes. Manny, are these your cats? Uh, they are, yes. So, like, please genuinely like your cats, legit. Well, they're my girlfriend and my cats, but they're, I surprised her with them. I brought them home. That a okay, boy. Uh, so what we do is every time we show a cat picture, we donate $1 to the SPCA, which we'll be doing today. Tell us about this little fella. <laughs> uh, well, I'm presently uh, here this week and then uh, going to New York for the next six weeks to train. And so this, I said goodbye to them for the next two months. <laughs> and I just figured, you know what? I'll take a picture of them before Maybe I leave. I and then I saw you guys for a crazy <laughs> cat, cat lady. Cat. Okay, <laughs> there's one. Where's the uh, second picture, creepy cat lady? <laughs> you know, you know you're, only, you're only a crazy cat person if you have more cats than people in your household. So two. Oh, is that how it works? That's the equation. Oh, All that's right, good. I, I like that. Do you have any cats? Uh, my parents have a cat. I grew up with two. Uh, Coco and Pip. Uh, oh, nice. They're... My dad had two cats. They were named... Uh, um, uh, uh, papers? And token. Papers. Token papers. Even That's I know right. that. I don't know why I forget it. Yeah, I almost said yeah. token. Can I realize that that was No short-term memory over to you? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Interesting. Weird. Okay, let's talk about uh, the camps. What, what are these things, and why did you guys start them? Well, yeah, it started actually, Manny created uh, the Get Up and Go Award, which were bursaries to give out to young, enthusiastic racers who actually kind of em uh, embody what Manny's spirit is. And he brought me on to that um, a, year or a year after he started that. And then when we were working together, he came to me and he goes, you know, we can do more. And so we sat down and um, came up with this idea that to create a ski camp for uh, young racers who wouldn't necessarily be able to afford uh, a yeah. summer ski camp, which, you know, you need to get a lot and of. And that's great because skiing is such an expensive sport, especially yeah. living in British Columbia. I mean, a lift ticket is how much at Whistler these days? Uh, it's, uh, it's about it's a good bucks. amount. It's about 100 bucks. But, you know, it's, it's worth it. It's a, great, it's a great sport. It provided us so much in our lives. Yeah. And so we get an opportunity to do this and give back, and it really connects the World Cup level athletes as ourselves to the grassroots and where we came from. It's a lot of fun, four days. Well, and, yeah. and, and Manny, Mike mentioned it. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's one thing, you know, the expense, but but secondly, access to coaches and access to guys that that have had this experience on the World Cup circuit. Uh, how much of that is involved in the camp? You know, you're just talking to guys about, you know, the technique, but also just, you know, the life and what you need to do. Well, and I mean, a big part of, of us us being World Cup racers here is that it doesn't happen here. It happens, all our races, I mean, other than the first two races of the year, are in right. Europe. Yeah. So these kids, you know, they, they see us at a ski camp or whatever, and we're off doing our own thing. Yeah, and, but in competition. You know, and, then it's, and then we're gone. Yeah. And so this is one of the key opportunities that we can actually get to know these kids. So yeah. how does it work? It's four days, as you mentioned, but what do the kids do? Obviously, they ski, but tell us a little bit more about what happens. We live in the house with, with the kids. We become all their, their buddies, their friends. You guys, friends. this should be a reality show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place we have in Whistler is like the ultimate 80s Whistler uh, cabin. It's got like multi-levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. pool table, hot tub, uh, huge kitchen, you know, table. It's, yeah, it's got the old ski posters. So, the oh, master yeah. of the mountain. Yeah. How much fun do the kids have uh, over the four days that they spend with you guys? It's cool. I mean, you know, Mike... I, I, you know, I've gotten, I've molded Mike a little bit more to like relax. <laughs> I was a little more reserved, you yeah. know, and the mountain's not open until a little later. And, you know, we, we, we make sure the kids know you need, you need eight hours of sleep. And, you know, they, they, start doing, out? they start doing the math and they're like, well, if the mountain doesn't open till 10, right. you know, we got we can, two. so we, you know, we're, it's, it's pretty relaxed. They're so used to, I mean, for us too, I mean, we're always burnt out at the end of the season mm. yeah. and they're so used to the, the coaches you know, nagging on them, going to bed, be ready for the next day and everything. And I'm, for us, you know, have your skis ready. This is all about fun. It's the end of the year. You guys, it's been dragged on all year, all year long, all the yeah. hard work and Do everything. Do a lot of pranks happen in the house? 
Uh, I think Pranks. mainly to us. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, I think the, the kids, coaches. yeah, they yeah. try to sneak some stuff under us. But, no, it's, uh, like I said, the kids have, we have a great time throughout the four days. We're up on the mountain. Um, they actually get a ton out of it. They, they you know, yeah, they, they respond so well to it. And then we come down, we have a big lunch. Uh, then we're off doing dryland in the afternoon. We have, uh, you know, either soccer, going to the gym or something oh, like fine. that. And, uh, yeah, keep them going. And then, yeah, you know, a little activity <laughs> you know, at night. You, know. you can see we brought a, another Get out the coach. guitars. He was playing the guitar, and they got their Xbox going, and yeah. But within the pranks, you know, I, that, what was it, last year or two years ago, one of the kids, or a couple of the kids came over and they said, Mike, Manny, why are you guys so mean to each other? <laughs> and we were looking at each other like, well, we're not mean to each other. And they're like, yeah, you haven't said one good thing about each other in like three days. <laughs> and we're like, no, no, we're just teammates. Yeah. That's what yeah, teammates that's do. The, that's teammates that's the nature have. of yeah, teammates. Yeah. Yeah. understand it. You know? we, we totally were oblivious to the we whole thing. To, we live with each other. In the room. <laughs> uh, have you guys had the experience yet of, of, of seeing one of the kids that have come, because you've been doing this for a few years, where you've seen one of the kids and, and they're actually progressing through the ranks and, and getting into the competitive level and, and like actually on the mountain with you guys during a competition? Is it, has it been there yet? Yeah, you know, um, just this week, you know, we, we try and reach more kids than just the kids at this camp. We've given out nine $500 bursaries to provincial athletes across the, the nation. And just alone, three kids, because of our camp only being in BC the last couple of years, yeah. Uh, three kids that are on the BC ski team right now have been to our camp, oh, so we're great. just helping them <laughs> out again right away. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. yeah. So the event is happening on the 28th. What's going on? Well, yeah, so obviously this is a, a camp that's free of charge for the athletes that come. They write to us, and we, we select them through countless uh, uh, applications. And so to hey, cover this cost... has an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he's in. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have some great supporters. Uh, Whistler Block Home from Friday in the Past is the brew pub up in Whistler. Uh, some great people in the ski community. But then also, you know, there's uh, some growing cost to it. So we have an event this week, uh, uh, Saturday night, at the Mealy Kitchen just down here in Yale Town. Yeah, beautiful. And, uh, yeah, you can either come, uh, donate... Uh, be a part of it. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the night. Or yeah. Um, yeah, so well, it's a great way for people to participate because I think people are always looking for that link of how to support athletes, and and everybody wants to, but sometimes it's it's hard to figure that process out and how to do it. So this is a great way for people just to you know be part of something for someone in their. I life. mean, it, in the ski racing world, I think right now we potentially are the only avenue that touches so many kids across Canada right now. So it's a great it's a great way to to donate a little bit of money, even you know. Hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. It goes yeah. a long way. We we distribute that money accordingly to to where we think, and we talk with all the the federations and everything yeah. of where that that money should go. Yeah. And it's just a great way to touch the the actual kids that really need it in in a low key, very you know, fundable way. Well, thanks so, so much, thanks you guys. Boys. If you want more information, or as we just said, if you would like to donate, it's always welcome. You can go to mikeandmanny.org. And as we said, uh, the event that's happening is Saturday, April the 28th at the Melee Kitchen. If you want to find out more, it's on the website as and well. And enjoy the slacking season. What do you guys have, another three weeks off before you have to get into testing? Yeah, you know, so make <laughs> the beach, go surfing, and then, uh, <laughs> then back in the gym. Yeah. Back at it. The, fir the first time back in the bike in the gym is uh, usually out the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, check out each of their website as well. They have some great great videos on it that uh, give you an example of the kind of dedication that it needs uh, that you need to be uh, so a many cat videos athlete. Yeah. so <laughs> many it's all cat videos yeah. Yeah. So oh no wait that's our website is all cat videos <laughs> okay that's we're going to take a break